Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabari here. You're going to be in for a big surprise. Last week, I went to my early Black Friday shopping at free stores, Walmart, Target, and Sam's Club, which is part of Walmart. It's a warehouse store just like Costco, you know, where you get to find a lot of supplies that has several packs unlike supermarkets and other places that do have them. You get whatever you need. <laughs> and after waiting a couple months having to find them because I just got a brand new 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player that's from Sony and I also got the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K to join with it as well. Well now we're in for it, and I'm going to show you right now, as soon as I get out of there. Okay, well first I'm going to move the chair farther away. But I got a brand new TCL 4K Ultra HD TV. That's also a smart TV, LED, and it's built in with Roku TV. Yeah, which is another streaming device, just like Amazon Fire Stick. You get all the options you need. It's a 4 series, it's stunning picture, high dynamic range, simple personalized home screen, and advanced digital TV tuner to go with it. It has free HDMI ports, which I'm going to show you, and it's Wi-Fi. So yes, you do get the stream and you get to watch all your digital channels included and most of all you get to watch all your movies, TV shows, sports and all this other stuff especially on your 4K Ultra HD players you can even watch on your Blu-ray player and <laughs> I guess you can even watch uh, your DVD players and VCRs if you hook this up through uh, different uh, connections if you must. But all it takes is having to use HDMI cables if you have all these uh, converters and other stuff to go for it and this is it. But it just looks so beautiful. And this definitely replaced my Sony 32 inch Bravia HD TV that I got in 2010 which makes it 11 years. So. Now I'm going to show you a brief tour. And here it is, the TV. And we bought this for 270 at Sam's Club. This isn't the only TV I have. My sister got one as well for her bedroom. So I'm just going to turn it on right now through this remote. This is just like all the other Roku remotes you've seen from all these uh, Roku devices that you got. Um, it doesn't have any channel number buttons or any other options but this is the one that they use. It's very similar to the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K which that's how this remote looks like right here. <laughs> yeah, very similar right there because this one of course has the the circular um, the circular button which they use so you can click here and there and has the button with the microphone and you have all these other random buttons here yeah with buttons and all of course their volumes buttons are on the right side you have to control it like this or you can handle it in different ways if you could choose yeah so the mute button you know the volumes down and and up. So these buttons of course have Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu and Sling, TCL, Roku TV and these are those random keys here. Uh, these are the the arrow keys with the OK button. That's where you use the control, the home button, arrow buttons and the power button. So let's turn it on right now just to see 
I know, I'm sorry it's starting to look a little blurry, but here we go. Maybe we can zoom it in. Yeah, here's the home page. Yeah, there's free HDMI ports. Um, the HDMI 1 right there, which I'm going to show you as we get to. Um, sorry, I just had to move it around. Yeah, there's all these advertisements. Yeah, this is where we have the 4K player that I'm just going to turn on right now. Um, see, that's where you see the menu. Well, HDMI 2 is where you get to see the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> just taking some time. And this is just empty HDMI free RRC. So I just haven't used it yet. Uh, so there you go. And this has all the other stuff here. Um, there's the AV connectors. So if you end up using one of those uh, AV connectors, uh, converters that you have to put together, that's where you'll be able to add something you want. And there's live TV, which is antenna. They also have cable too. I mean, they even split apart. And then you can see all these apps like Netflix, Prime Video, Tubi, Pluto TV, Roku Channel, Peacock, HBO Max, Hulu, Plex, Disney Plus, Crackle, what? Fanwise and all the rest that are included that you like to choose. Yeah, you can even add some more on the add channel button. There's a sleeper timer, and it's just going back again. <laughs> and it's just showing some advertisement for other movies and shows from certain streaming services. Down there, you got feature free. Yeah, it's showing all the free content that you have on all these. Uh, channels sorry I keep moving around of any kind just has to load up of any show you want to watch okay maybe I just gotta zoom it out a bit and any other kind now let's see if I can go back uh, I don't know why it's not letting me go back here maybe just press home um, there's my feed. Yeah, it just shows like certain feeds of any kind. Like what's coming soon and what's upcoming and all. All this other stuff. There's a movie store. Like if you want to pick whatever movie you want to choose to add on your libraries. You know, for your streaming. It's taking so long to load at this moment. Okay, it just tells you exactly, you know, feature films, you know, rentals, deals, wish lists, and all. Yeah, it has all these movies, uh, current films that are available, uh, even ones that are upcoming when they're going to come out uh, after they finish uh, hitting the theaters, or even ones that are beforehand. You can even pay enough money for the, for all the choices you want to get of any kind, but I guess it's not important right now. Yeah, here's all this other stuff, advertisements. There's a TV store. I don't know why is it... I know, I, I guess my internet's just going funny lately. Um, just wish it would load faster. <laughs> but don't worry, it does load faster though, it's just it's not beginning to load right now at the moment but you, and this is your search button yeah streaming channels you can find on the channel store like whatever you want to pick like of any options of genres like for move, like kids and family music and podcasts news and weather sports comedy animal and pets foods and classic tv crime mystery any kind that's available. So that's what you have here in this menu. You know, you even got settings too, so you can choose whatever you want, like connections, other valuables, so some themes, accessories, screensavers of any kind, cap, closed captioning, 
audio, TV inputs, parental controls, payment method, um, systems, privacy, help, legal notices, you name it. Also, you had to activate this TV by sometimes you can either use your email account or not and that's the case because I had to use mine to create this account for Roku so you can add more stuff available now let's just go back uh, I'm going to show you some features here um, just to keep up before this video ends um, I'm going to show you um, HDMI 1 for now to see what it looks like yep you can see the menu exactly right now let's go back by using the arrow button now let's check on HDMI 2 let's see what it looks like, yep you can see <laughs> Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K now let's go back yeah absolutely nothing so it says no signal is it on yep that's because I didn't connect it and here's uh, AV even says the same here hamster wheel engage <laughs> no signal is it on okay now let's check on live TV let's see what's on um, just random channels yeah turn on the volume of any kind yeah they're just playing Perry Mason on me TV uh, you can change the channel by using these arrow key buttons right here and also you can change it here to the guide listing so it shows you exactly what's on yeah, you can change the channel of any kind just pressing down or or up of any see and it shows you the times, uh, the schedules, uh, the shows that, that are available. You can even fast forward and go back and, and all, everything. There's also uh, a secret um, function. They have other secret ones too. Uh, the one that you can use that's really cool is that they even have uh, live TV pause which unfortunately you had to connect through your 16 gigabyte or larger USB flash drive you can also use uh, external hard drives of any kind to connect to your TV so that way you get the pause shows and movies that you want to watch and in case you want to go you know to the restroom or <laughs> grab some food or you know take out uh, any supplies you know move around and then come back to so you don't miss anything that you left off yeah sort of like a DVR in a way unfortunately I heard that you can't record it just only records within 90 minutes before it gets to the next one I think it could also happen when you change the channel too and see how that goes but if you want to connect uh, a DVR on this and record something there might be an option for that but that just depends maybe you might have to use a software or any other kind might as well just buy a device and connect it and see what happens But I don't know I'm just seeing the claim here um, but that's what you get here there's also a lot of streaming channels included part of the Roku channel I'm not going to show too many of that but I guess you can get to see what's available whenever you find them there you go let's just go back to home and there you go so that's how the TV looks it's a great deal and I'm really happy because now I get to watch movies as well as TV shows and other programming that you you could choose you can even watch uh, something directly from the internet too you can even watch YouTube as well <laughs> so it's very nice let's turn this off yeah I'm just going to show you some ports here that's included yeah you can see the spine that has the energy guide nine dollars yeah saves a lot of energy that you're going to get for the cost 
yearly. Um, that's not important right now. This is all the ports. Uh, you have the reset, the USB, the free uh, HDMI's. Yeah, only free. And the ones that are connected already, yeah, you can see the the 4K HDMI cable that's long. And you can see the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K that's connected directly. You can see the the wires going straight into where the power strip is at, um, next to all the players around. And yeah, there's also if I can move it around a little bit, so uh, you can see um, another cable wire that's connected uh, on a coax uh, connector. Uh, you can use it for antennas too. Uh, there's the AV, if you can see it. That's how you connect to um, the audio, or sometimes you connect for those components. Uh, and then there's the audio options too. They're all there. So that's how you can see on the TV. You don't see any component connections like you're expecting, like all the other previous TVs you've seen. But uh, that's the the flaw part of them all. But I'm sure all 4K TVs have the same. And just showing you real quick, uh, I got four movie titles uh, during my early Black Friday deals. So this is the only one I could afford for now. I will get some more later when we do some more Black Friday shopping. But so far I got two 4K Ultra HDs and two Blu-rays to join. Of course, both of them have Blu-rays as well, but hey, <laughs> you get the idea. I got the movie Free Guy, finally. This is the brand new movie that I really love. And it does contain features on the Blu-ray only. But it does have the 4K with dynamic picture and sound and all. So the movie will look even better than ever. And of course I got Maleficent. I thought the film was okay. Um, actually, it's decent. I mean, I like the performances of Angelina Jolie and Ellie Fanning. And I know this is a take on Sleeping Beauty, so this is a origin story of the most famous villain of them all. But I can't go wrong with getting the 4K Ultra HD that comes with the Blu-ray. Uh, I know there's a sequel to this, which is really awful. I'm sorry. So I, I would give this film a shot. I only saw the film twice. Maybe I'll do a review on it someday. If only if I could review it along with Sleeping Beauty, that would be nice. And maybe I'll I'll get a chance to check out the second movie. And so yes, it has the 4K and the features to join and all. I can't wait to try the mounts. I got the, the Shout Select um, Collector's Edition Blu-ray of Explorers from 1985. I'm so surprised I finally found this. <laughs> They had this at Best Buy though for only uh, $24.99 from what I saw last time, but I was amazed to find this for a lot less. It was part of the clearance at $16.09. That's a great deal for this set. And yeah, it's a two disc set, alright. Yeah, this is the movie with uh, a very young Ethan Hawk along with River Phoenix, God where it's his soul. It's a Joining in with Jason Presson is a Joe Dante film story about three boys who just want to go to outer space. They had to build a spaceship known as the Thunder Road. And once they were there, they spotted some aliens and all this other humor and all. A lot of great special effects here and there. It's the perfect 80s uh, coming of age story. And even has the line, you don't need a driver's license to reach the stars. Yeah. There are two cuts in the film that are included uh, for the features. You have the home video cut, as you're all familiar with. Um, for those who haven't seen it in feeders. I know I haven't because <laughs> I was only a baby when this came out. <laughs> 
and they had the theatrical cut. So there's some more uh, differences of scenes that didn't quite make it. Um, it does have uh, other features like documentary, the science fiction fairy tale, the story of explorers, which has new interviews with director Joe Dante, along with screenwriter Eric Luke and Ethan Hawke to join in, along with others. They're still with us. There's a new deleted scenes with optional commentary by Joe Dante. It's basically a work print um, deleted scenes of shots that didn't quite make it. Uh, new interviews with cinematographer John Hora and editor Tina Hirsch and theatrical trailers. So that's what you get. Uh, it's worth the price. And finally, I got The Graduates, the Criterion Collection. Yeah, Blu ray special edition. And it was only 2064. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. Aren't you? <laughs> yeah, that famous scene. Great film, by the way. With Dustin Hoffman, along with Anne Bancroft, Catherine Ross, uh, William Daniels, and all the rest of the actors. Has a great soundtrack, too, by Simon and Gunfunkel. You know, here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Oh, no, no. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I could sing the whole thing, but you know how, how the song is. It's a great song. Yeah, MGM, Studio Canal, and and has all the features included. It's a 4K digital, yeah, digital restoration with uncompressed monorail soundtrack. Yeah, 5.1 surround remix. It's approved by director Mike Nichols, Scott vs. Soul. There's audio commentaries of any kind of years and new interviews with Dustin Hoffman and and all the other stuff that's included. So it's cool. I really got to start getting some Criterion uh, Blu-rays because I only have the DVDs and it would be nice to find some, but they're actually very expensive, as I heard. I mean, I know you had to get these at Barnes and Noble, or I guess you can also get on Amazon as well, and other places to see if you can get it for goodness knows. The only cheapest thing to get for it was having to have the 50% off of any of these titles if you had to pick some. I did find another Criterion to release. I wish I picked it up though, but I didn't have enough at this moment, but hopefully, maybe I might. Uh, it was for Moonstruck, but if I ever find that, again, maybe I'll I'll take my chances. So Anyway, those are just the releases I got. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some more. What a treat. I finally got what I want, and I can't wait to watch it through this 4K TV that I got. And I can't wait to do everything here. <laughs> I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.